The United States is a vast and beautiful place, but that got us to wondering, what are some of the best places to visit in the country? Here, we'll delve into some of the most incredible and scenic state parks around, and we'll tell you a bit about what makes each one so unique. Get ready to be inspired to pack and travel. This is Most Amazing State Parks in the U.S. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm American Eye, and today I'm bringing you a video right here on Chalatanic. Let's check it out. Number 11. Chugash State Park This giant state park is located in one of the most scenic states in the country, Alaska. It's found just east of the Anchorage Bowl in the south-central part of the state and spans 495,204 acres. It was designated to be a state park on August 6, 1970 for a few key reasons. To help protect Anchorage's water supply, conserve and protect the beauty and scenic majesty of the Chugash Mountains, and provide endless recreation opportunities. It's officially the third largest state park in all the U.S. While target practice is frowned upon and not allowed, fishing and hunting are, as long as you follow the rules and regulations. A few key attractions include Eagle River, Iglutna Lake, Turnagain Arm, the Willowa Lakes, and Thunderbird Peak. Number 10. Natural Bridge State Resort Park This state park is found on the Daniel Boone National Forest in the good old state of Kentucky. The natural sandstone bridge which gives the name its park is the park's centerpiece and climbs 65 feet into the sky and runs a length of 78 feet. It was formed by weathering over the course of a million years and the park itself was found as a tourist attraction in 1895. Around 1,200 acres of the 2,300 acre park is part of a nature preserve that was designated by the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves. Here, hikers of all skill levels can find more than 20 miles worth of trails with terrain that ranges from moderately difficult all the way to strenuous. Original Trail, which measures about a half mile, is just that, an original trail that leads to an arc itself and dates back to the 1890s. Some notable attractions here include the Ark, Balancing Rock, Fat Man Squeeze, Lover's Leap, Henson's Cave Ark, and also the White Branches Ark. Number 9. Itasca State Park Have you ever wondered where one might find the headwaters of the Great Mississippi River? Look no farther, they can be found in the Atasca State Park in northern Minnesota, about 21 miles north of Park Rapids. It's the second oldest state park in the U.S. behind only Niagara Falls State Park and the first ever state park of Minnesota. Lake Atasca is the source of the Mississippi and it was first determined way back in 1832 by Henry Schoolcraft. Roughly 500,000 people visit Atasca's 32,690 acres every year. A lot of them visit to fish the 157 lakes within the park's boundaries, but there are also many hiking trails, over 200 campsites, and lots of majestic sights to see. It was designated as a national landmark in 1965 by the United States Secretary of the Interior. Number 8. Hawking Hills State Park Our next beautiful park can be found in Ohio in Hawking County and is part of the Hawking Hills region. There are many fantastic rock formations found within the park and borders Hawking State Forest. Three sections, Ash Cave, Whispering Cave, and Old Man's Cave are all what are called recessed caves. Two sections, Conkles Hollow and Cantwell Cliffs, each feature narrow gorges. One section features a rock shelter within a cliffed area called Rock House and one section, Cedar Falls, is precisely what it sounds like, a waterfall. Although every part of the park besides Rock House have waterfalls as well. More than 4.2 million people visited the park in 2017 and enjoyed the scenery, hiking trails, lodges, and the more than 200 campsites within the park. Tourism is expected to grow in the coming years, and there's a shuttle service and a new $6 million visitor center now. Number 7. Big Bend Ranch State Park this park covers a massive 311,000 acres and can be found in Presidio and Brewster counties in Texas and on the Rio Grande. It's the largest state park in all of Texas and was established in 1988. It shares the Chihuahuan Desert ecosystem with Big Bend National Park, which is adjacent to. It's a popular location for visitors to ride mountain bikes, backpack, hike, and horseback ride in the ranch's backcountry, and if you're looking for a water adventure, it's a beloved river rafting spot. It's open year-round, so you never have to worry about missing out on anything, although just 2,500 people visited it in 2008, which, given to the size of the park, is extremely low. There are also a number of tours and guided hikes which you could hop on for an educational and fun experience to learn about the history of the area. Number 6. Fall Creek Falls State Park 
officially called Fall Creek Falls State Resort Park, a mouthful we know. This is a beautiful park and is found in the Upper Cane Creek Gorge in Bledsoe and Van Buren counties in Tennessee. It boasts 26,000 acres and is known for its amazing waterfalls and unique geology. East of the Mississippi, Fall Creek Falls comes in at the tallest free fall waterfall and it's also where they got the name for the park. They guarantee that Fall Creek Falls will continuously flow by building Fall Creek Falls Lake, which is controlled by a dam that funnels into the falls. Fall Creek Falls is massive and takes up a considerable portion of the southern part of the park. There are also seven different waterfalls, three caves, and five official overlooks for visitors to enjoy all year round as the park is open every day. It first became a national park in 1935 and has continued to thrive since then. Number 5. Custer State Park Not only is this gorgeous place a state park, but it also serves as a wildlife reserve. If you want to visit, you'll have to travel to the beautiful Black Hills in South Dakota, where it serves as the state's largest state park and it was also its first. It was established back in 1912 and grew quickly in the 1920s. By the 1930s, many roads had to be built, as well as campgrounds, parks, and dams. At that time, it encompassed around 48,100 acres, but in 1964, 22,900 were added to the park. This brings it to cover about 71,000 acres today. Visitors may get the opportunity to glimpse at a famous herd of wild bison that roam the area, a herd that boasts numbers around 1,500. There are many excellent scenic drives to be taken and endless opportunities to see wild animals like bighorn sheep, mountain goats, cougars, coyotes, elk, and many more. Number 4. Letchworth State Park New York's Wyoming and Livingston counties are where this 17-mile-long, 14,427-acre park call home. It can be found southeast of Buffalo, around 60 miles, and just 35 miles southwest of Rochester. William Pryor Letchworth, an industrialist, bought the land near Middle Falls in 1859 and built an estate on it. What does this have to do with anything, you ask? Well, he ended up giving his 1,000-acre estate to the state of New York in 1906, which then became the core of the park. Obviously, they then named it after him. There's a beautiful drive you can take that falls along the west side of the gorge, allowing for viewing of some of the most incredible geology in the area. There are also many hiking trails, which total around 66 miles, horse riding trails, rivers to raft on, hunting opportunities, geocaching fun, and also hot air balloon experiences. In the winter, there's cross-country skiing, tubing, snowmobiling, and even horse-drawn sleighs. There's endless adventure to be had at Letchworth, so it's worth checking out. Number 3. Prairie Creek Redwoods State Park just 50 miles north of Eureka, California, one can find some intense nature among some of the more giant trees that anyone's likely to see in their lifetime. Old Growth Coast Redwoods grow in at what's almost an unimaginable number with 14,000 acres that this state park calls home in Humboldt County. The California Coast Ranges International Biosphere Reserve is partly made up by Prairie Creek Redwoods State Park, as well as three other redwood parks, and collectively, they are designated as a World Heritage Site. There's a meadow that is thought to be the centerpiece of the park and it's located along the Newton B. Drury Scenic Parkway. In the meadow, there's a large population of Roosevelt elk which draws in sightseers, animal lovers, photographers from around the world, and many more. Prairie Creek, from which the park takes its name, is a popular attraction in the area as well as Gold Bluffs Beach and Fern Canyon. Number 2. Crater of Diamonds State Park This 911-acre park in Pike County, Arkansas is the only place on Earth with diamonds that is accessible to the open public. Many famous finds have happened in the park, including the 1906 discovery of the Strong Wagner Diamond by Shirley Strawn. There was also the Star of Arkansas in 1956 and Uncle Sam, which was found in 1924 and is also the largest diamond ever discovered in the U.S. In 1972, the Arkansas Department of Parks and Tourism bought the site and they officially made it a state park the same year. When diamonds started popping up, Murfreesboro became a boomtown with thousands of tents popping up in 10 cities around the area. According to the park, around two diamonds are found every day by visitors, so if you're thinking about striking rich, you might as well give this a shot. And number one, but first, we've seen some fantastic state parks so far and we still have one left. But we gotta ask you guys, what's your favorite state park or place to visit in the US? What gives it such a great experience? We'd love to hear all about your favorite travel spots in the comments below. And number 1. Cashamac Bay State Park This park is enormous and yes, we know it's the second largest state park on this list that's found in Alaska. 
This wilderness area along the Kashimak Bay Wilderness Park comprises of 400,000 acres in the bay itself and the surrounding area. In all of the Alaska State Park system, Kashimak Bay State Park was the first wilderness park to be legislatively designated. The cool and interesting thing about this state park is that there are no roads that lead to most of the areas in it. There are a few campgrounds and some rough cabins, but it's mostly still considered wild land and consists of many different types of terrain, from dense forests to beaches and ice lands and glaciers higher up. It's got everything one could want and it's definitely beautiful enough to warrant a visit. So what'd you guys think of that video? Be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my channel, American Eye. We got more cool videos just like this. We'll see you there.